Okay, now the next award is environmental sustainability. Again, it crosses all of these categories and it crosses all of the, all of the um, nominees. So the, this award recognises outstanding achievement by regional communities to use resources more efficiently, including sustainable water and electricity usage and management, decreasing environmental footprint and creating sustainable communities. The finalists in this category are Total Renewable Beechworth Total Renewable Beechworth Booth Transport Booth Transport The Salvation Army The Patch Violet Town Community House A Garden Called Mary Southern Aurora Memorial Committee Solar Barbecue and Lights in the Garden Congratulations to all our finalists Now, this, this uh, environmental sustainability category has a number of highly commended entries, and this year they are. The Salvation Army, The Patch, Violet Town Community House, A Garden Called Mary. Congratulations. Now, I know this is an inappropriate time to just, just jump off script and say a thank you, but you... Back in front of house, you don't realise there's an entire engine room going on here. And I think, for those of you out there in Facebook land, you might have seen a mystery person. Oh, could, everybody just, could everybody just go, Gary, 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 Gary. Come out, Gary, come out, Gary. Gary. <clears throat> I don't want to present you this award, but I want to say that I would not be presenting anything in order without Gary's impeccable work. So thank you, Gary. Would you like to say a few words? <laughs> no, I'm only joking, I'm only joking. <laughs> so, so, to present this award, I would like to invite to the stage Keep Victoria Beautiful CEO, Sabina Wills. There you go. Thank you. So, thank you very much. And I do believe I have the best job in the world because part of my job is to come out and talk to regional people and come out to some of the regional presentations. And that's where I've been hearing some of the stories that we're talking about here today. Because, and I'm certainly of the opinion, and in my opinion, everyone is a winner. And when I come out to the regional presentations and hear all the stories behind all the projects, I think that's just amazing. So I'm very excited. So the winner of the Environmental Sustainability Award is Booth Transport. Booth Transport. Booth Transport. In 2018, Booth Transport commenced an incredibly ambitious environmental protection project. The Strathmerton plant is now home to a state-of-the-art water treatment plant that combines a worm farm through which the water will be filtered for dairy proteins to be ingested by worms and capacitive deionisation, desalination. The worm farm is currently in operation, running through 200 kilolitres of waste water every day. This operation means that Booth will see a reduction of 3,000 tonnes of carbon emission per year and will add 121,000 kilolitres of recycled water into the irrigation system each year. Congratulations, Booth Transport. Uh, thank you so much. Um, this project was born out of necessity for us. Um, we needed a way to treat the water that we use to clean all our trucks, our milk tankers. Um, but the booth ethos, ethos is to go find something new. So we started looking far and wide uh, and found the worm farm technology in um, Chile, in Santiago. Uh, and we found our desalination technology in California, in the US. Uh, neither of these technologies are available in Australia until um, we brought them um, for our project in Strathmerton. Uh, so for us, it was a, a very ambitious project, uh, but a very rewarding one as well. Uh, we'd like to thank uh, the Mora Shire and the, the EPA for helping us get this project off the ground. Uh, our partners, Biofiltro and Atlantis Technologies, 
the, the Chilean Worm Farm Company and the, the desalination company out of America um, for, for trusting us to bring their te technology to Australia for the first time. Um, the, the Booth workforce, which has been amazing in, in aiding getting this project off the ground. Um, and probably finally, um, our workforce of around 10 million worms. Um, they're, our, they're our cheapest but most valuable employees. Um, without them, we wouldn't be here. So thank you very much. <laughs>